Coming with iOS 11 this fall is the new drag and drop feature for iPad. With it, users can easily drag files, including documents or images, between compatible apps, whether multitasking in split view or opening a new app through the iOS 11 dock. With iOS 11, attaching an image to an email or uploading a file to iCloud will be easier than ever. Users can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access the new dock, then either tap an app or hover your dragged item over the app to open it up. If the Files app is in your dock, you can tap and hold it to show recently used apps. Then you can drag apps from within that pop-up. To take an in-depth look at the dock, click the card above. Since not all your apps can fit on the dock, you can tap the Home button to reach the home page. You can also reach the home page by pinching the screen with four or five fingers, if multi-touch gestures are enabled. If you need to drag the item into a recent app, you can swipe left and right with four or five fingers to switch between apps. You can also perform an extended swipe from the bottom of the screen to access the app switcher. There you can either tap on a recent app or go straight into it by hovering your dragged item over it. You can also double tap the home button to reach the app switcher. Users can also take advantage of Apple's multitasking features to make dragging and dropping easier. Drag an app from your dock to the side of the screen to open the app in a slide over window. You can then drag and drop files between both apps. Once finished, swipe the tab off the screen. You can also pull down on the slide over tab to open it in split view mode, which is useful for uncovering the hidden part of the app that was under the slide over window. Click the card above to learn everything you can do with these multitasking features. The different kinds of items that support drag and drop include links, like URLs in Safari, as well as images from the Photos app, documents from Apple's Files app, articles from the News app, and locations from Apple Maps. You can even drag and drop selected text, including hyperlinks, as well as people from your contacts. You can also use multi-touch to drag and drop multiple items by tapping on consecutive items to add them to a stack of apps, then drop them into another app. The feature is limited in some ways. You can only add extra items to a single stack from within the same app. Tapping on items from other apps will act like a regular tap, which makes sense if you're trying to find a specific spot to drop them in, like a folder in the Files app. But we did discover that you can have more than one stack at the same time by heading to another app and starting a new drag there. Whatever you tap on will add onto your new stack. You can head back to the original app to add more items to the first stack. Once you've selected your desired items, you can even drop them into two separate apps. You can also have as many multiple stacks of apps as your fingers can handle. Although, unless you're a mutant with a few extra fingers than the average human, we don't really see a point to this. Safari also takes advantage of the new drag and drop features. You can drag an item or link into the new tab button to open it in a new tab or add it to favorites by hovering it over the favorites icon. You can drag an item over an existing tab to replace it, or pinch with two fingers to view a preview of each tab before choosing which one to drop it in. You can even drag a link to the left or right of the screen to open it up in Safari split view mode. Then you can drag another link over either side to replace the current page, or even one of the tabs, which can be added to either side, while also adding the ability to drag links from the other side directly into your favorites. The URL at the top gets all of these features too, as well as dragging it or any other item into other apps, like sharing a page by email. While the iPad makes the most use of drag and drop, the iPhone also supports it in limited ways. Without split screen support on the iPhone, however, you probably won't find it as useful. On an iPhone running iOS 11 beta, users can only drag and drop within the same app. For example, moving photos from camera roll into your albums, or organizing items within the files app. Click the card above for more info on the new Files app. Our tests also found out that users can now drag multiple apps around the home screen. To try it, just tap and hold as normal, and once the apps are jiggling and you're dragging one, tap on more apps to add them to the stack of apps. Sometimes it takes a double tap to get the apps to add. Then you can move them all into a folder or onto another home screen page. This small addition should make it easier for users to manage their app layouts. If you think the new drag and drop feature can be improved in some way, let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.